Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Well, recently I showed you on, on another video where I had this dryer filter catch, which I didn't know what it was called. Turns out it's actually called a slide, and what I wanted to show you today is an easy way that you can find parts that you're looking for or schematics for appliances that you are having trouble Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, for. where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe, and then hit the little bell icon below the subscribe button, and it'll notify you of okay, any so new I videos when they're released for you. It's got a slide that was broken. What I did is took a photo of the model number, and that's here on my phone, and we take that model number and we go to this site here, which is Sears Parts Direct. I'll leave a link in the description below, and if you click that link and anything you order through there, I make a small commission on anything that's ordered, help support the channel. Um, I wanted to preface this uh, video by saying that everything you see when you actually go to the sites will be much clearer. I shot the video uh, not with a screen recording software, but with uh, just a camera aimed at the screen. Things will be much clearer when you click the links in the description below and actually go to the sites. So I'm entering the model number DSKS333 EC1WW EC1WW and then we hit search and we're going to search it under model number and that's going to bring up our model number, which this one's a GE dryer. Now there's actually lots of different model numbers uh, or different models uh, on this website. And here we go. Um, this didn't have a perfect match for, for the EC1 WW, but we got enough items here that are close enough and that these are going to most likely use the same part. So let's click this 2 one. I clicked on the model number here. And <clears throat> what this has is different parts diagrams. And this site has a ton of parts diagrams that you can look up. Now, if you couldn't find your model number, you can use the finder here, which will show you the different places that most model numbers are kept. For this one, it was inside the dryer door on the face. Now what we do is click here on this black splash cover right here. You can see the picture here, and this will bring up the parts diagram. And you can also search for the part by name if you knew what that part was. But now that we scroll down, no thanks, I don't want to chat right now. Um, Right here on the door is where this is the part that was broken, 3043. So you come down to this part, 3043, and there's our part number right there, WE1M407. And we can add that to cart if we wanted to buy it. This one's 5025. But the other thing you could do is take this part number and you could search any other number of sites uh, with it. So it's a pretty cool deal. Um, and um, you know, it just has pretty extensive breakdowns on everything that you might need for different parts. A lot of different manufacturers, a lot of different part numbers. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to the page where you can order stuff or you can research stuff. Again, I make a, a small commission on anything ordered through there so it helps support the channel. And if you wanted to purchase this, we would just click on add to cart. It would add it to the cart and there's the deal. You can view cart and check out. And again, if you wanted to, you could take this part number or the substitution part number and search the web elsewhere to, to locate that part. It makes it nice and easy. I could take this and, and search it on Amazon or wherever it is that you want to search. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description for you to get to Amazon as well. Again, I make a small commission on anything ordered through there, but what you do is you take your part number so this one here is the optional part number they had for this uh, dryer lint trap slide. And then you come over to Amazon and you search for that or another site, but just giving you the example here. This is another way I make commission. If we can find the part cheaper, it makes sense, right? You, you want to get the best value for your money. Okay, here it is on Amazon, $13 and free shipping on eligible orders. So 
you know, probably a much better deal. Again, I'll leave a link in the description um, to Amazon. Um, and uh, it's a, just a nice way to be able to look up the part that you need. You can come on over to the, the link here in the description or Sears Parts Direct, search the model number and find your part. Now sometimes parts may not even be available or where they're available from, but once you've got that part number and then you can come to another site and search the part and find it much easier. Again, I'll put links in the description below. Uh, th that way I make a small commission, help support the channel. And I just wanted to show you a nice easy way that you can um, locate parts and locate the schematics for your particular uh, parts that you need, parts diagrams. It just makes things a lot easier and a lot faster. If you've got a refrigerator, you need to know which kind of filter to use. Uh, you can come through this site. Uh, if you bookmark this page, bookmark this video, save it in your favorites or save it in your watch later, you can always find it later to look up part schematics when you need to. And then find the part that you need and then shop around. And hey, there's a coupon there. <laughs> All right. So a lot of you get maintenance guys will be ordering parts to your supply warehouses such as HD Supply, Wilmar, or others. And this is a great way to be able to look up the part that you need and get schematics for whatever part it ne you need. If it's a refrigerator gasket, if it's a refrigerator door light switch, whatever it is, you can look it up on this site, Sears Parts Direct, and then be able to uh, contact your supply warehouse for special orders for particular part number makes it much faster. And for many of your units you might have a lot of the same unit so uh, bookmarking pages, bookmarking the, the schematics or wiring diagrams or, or diagrams, parts diagrams for your different appliances, model numbers can help speed things up in the future. You've got it at the ready if you need a new door, uh, you know, whatever it is that you need. And, and if you need a regular part that comes up often, you can bookmark those pages. It can just make things a lot faster for ordering and, uh, you know, for processing everything that you need to do your job better and faster. And that's what Kung Fu Maintenance is all about, making life much easier for you. Thanks for watching. Liking a quick search subscribe. on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are, you should find a bunch of different material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs.